welcome back to the Citizen Channel. We're all staying safe. And well, yes, a little one-off here, a little special, because we thought we'd seen the last of it, haven't we? We thought we'd, it had gone. Of course, it's still there, because uh, a certain Dave and Sue Wallace is still ever-present on social media, of course. So they'll never, never be gone, and I will keep uh, quoting them, etc., etc. But we've got a little King of the Kipak special. Yes, a little one-off that you can purchase. I will tell you how you can get hold of it before we go. But yes, uh, simply King of the Kipax travel winner. It's just 12 pages, but of course, it's commemorating uh, the legend, the king, of course, the, the king of the Kipax, Colin Bell. Uh, of course, City released uh, the special shirts, and of course, Dave and Sue were sworn to secrecy at the time when they did a special King of the Kipax uh, magazine for it to accompany the shirts. It was, so every shirt sold. Um, this was actually uh, the magazine was given 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 out with it so not everyone had a chance to get older one of course i was lucky enough to get one so this has been produced to celebrate the treble win as well so double you know the two two birds with, with uh, one stone sort of thing and uh, it's just great to have it's called the treble win it's king of the kid pack so uh, it's a 12 page tribute and of course uh, it's just the colin bell story uh, as you'd expect from king of the kid packs it's a great read um, some great images as well if you've not already seen the the version that was already put out uh, uh, a while ago now just a small excerpt uh, we'll read from this it's uh, entitled the 60s and 70s then i'll tell you where you can get older a copy and a great a great pull out in it as well uh, for you which you may have noticed somewhere uh, in the back uh, a little a fantastic put a frame around that that is, that's worth that's worth the money they're asking just on its own i think although who can who can forget colin bell that's for sure late, late 60s and early 70s 68 69 saw city lifted charity shield against west brom at main road so i was there for that one six one still a record score for the first time since 1937 two nil win at home to sunderland a disappointing season with mal bolstein will terrify europe yeah, he always bolstered but going out of european cup in the first round to fenerbahce was revived but was revived with a one nil win at wembley over leicester city who were later relegated to win the cup 69 70 after losing the charity shield 2-1 at leeds it was a disappointing season in the league and cup but after welcoming semi-final victory over united in the league cup the blues were off to wembley again to lift the trophy 2-1 against west brom after extra time city were actually terrifying europe this time around and lifted the cup winners cup beating goal at 2-1 on a rainy night in vienna i think we were new i think we won the five aside trophy that year as well dave so uh, i think we did a treble didn't we so uh, not, much, not much is known about that but anyway well not bad got about that 1771 Colin had a urine, urine test after a Gornet game in 1971 but it took so long to produce that the flight home had to be delayed it was a negative of course uh, in the European Cup when he's got semi-final City lost 2-0 on aggregate to Chelsea Colin was injured at Newcastle much to Mal's annoyance and didn't feature in either game yeah we had a, a big big injury problem for that one 71-72, recovered from cartilage injury, but City missed out on the title to Derby County, despite being four points clear with nine games left. In the summer, he bought two horses, Stay Back and Stay Bell. There you go. Ironically, Malcolm nicknamed him Nijinsky after the famous racehorse due to his strength, speed and stamina. City reached the 73-74 League Cup final, my first trip to Wembley. Under manager Ron Saunders, losing 2-1 to Wolves with Collins scoring to level the scores. But with Wolves notching a late winner, City's forward line was Bell, Lee, Law, Marsh and Summerby. Saunders was later sacked, Johnny Hart taking over. In the last game of the season, City won 1-0 at Old Trafford with a late goal to confirm United's relegation. Yes, uh, good on the pitch, not so much off the pitch. Prompting a pitch invasion, but the result stood. 74-75, Keith McRae was injured versus Leicester in March, but Mike Doyle took over in goal, much to Collins' annoyance, as he was a budding goalie in his youth. So, yeah, we might have did, did had a chance to see Colin in goal for that one. So just a little excerpt there, guys, but that's the thing, some great stuff in it. In the back page there. And, uh, well, as I said, if you've not already got the, the version within, and, of course, uh, with it being a travel winner's thing, it's, uh, well, it's a collector's item, isn't it? Of course it is. It's a collector's item. Right, how can you how can you get old? It's, oh, I forgot to sell you that one. That's inside. Yeah, a great poster. Of course, of cities developing stadium transformations from uh, Clue, Clue Street, Clove Street, however you want it, to, the, to, of course, to the to the latest that you have. So, uh, that's, uh, as I say, put a frame around that. That's absolutely fantastic. So over to Dave and Sue for how you can get a copy. These are the frequently asked questions. How do I get one question mark? By emailing 
K-O-T-K dot fanzine at gmail.com including your name and full postal address including postcode stating how you intend to pay PayPal or Bax put your initial and surname on your payment reference so that we know it's you when you confirm by email that you paid we will post you your copy can I send you my details or request for a copy via messenger please email K-O-T-K dot fanzine at gmail.com as it is easier to manage will it be on sale at the end? Etihad. Yes. How much is it? Well, it's £4 if you wait to get it at the games. There's no guarantees, guys, with that. It'd probably sell out. Uh, but it's £6 including postage and packing. So that's a, a very decent amount of money via. But as I said, the post is probably worth that without all the cop, without Colin Bell. So that's, that says a lot. How can I pay to have one posted out? You can pay by backs via the bank, and bank details will be provided by email on request. PayPal to kotk.fanzine at gmail.com. You must use a reference of your initial and surname on your Bax or PayPal payment and notify us via email to, yes, that KOTK address, when your payment has been sent so that we know you've paid and can then send your copy out via post. What's the delivery method? Well, it's carrier pigeon, I think. No, no, it's not. Due to cost, standard Royal Mail will be used. International posting costs will, of course, be higher and will be confirmed via email on request. Will it be available on Kindle? As this is a souvenir copy, it will be hard copy only and not on the Kindle. What are the delivery timescales? Please note that the distribution centre at KK, well, Dave and Sue's place anyway, is a very manual and analogue process. It is. So please bear with us if you order a copy. Thanks, Dave and Sue. Thanks, Dave and Sue. It's great. As I say, one last time, I've got a little question mark on that. You never know. You never know what's around the corner. But of course, Dave, and uh, he still does his It's a Fix on his Facebook uh, page as well. So all that sort of stuff that we, we did a, a brief foray into. Uh, uh, he does it on there as well, so he's still very active, of course, uh, and still very, very popular and wanted at supporters club branches and stuff like this. And who, who wouldn't? Simple as that. Anyway, get get this, guys. Don't miss it. If you say you, all right, if you've got the version with the Colin Bell uh, shirt last season, then fair enough. But uh, if you missed out on it, an opportunity to get at least uh, some of the historic, historic edition. Thanks for watching, guys. Until we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, Blues. Come on, City. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.